Even more conclusive was the position of the Watson print. Although Bowen testified that it was on the outside of the front door, he'd also said that it was six to eight inches above the handle, near the edge, the tip of the finger pointing downward. As I illustrated to the jury, to leave the print where he did, Watson would have to be inside the Tate residence coming out. To make the print, had he been outside, he would have had to twist his arm in a very uncomfortable and extremely unnatural direction. Using the right ring finger and trying it both ways on a door, the listener will see what I mean. The logical assumption was that Watson left his print while chasing Frykowski, Krenwinkel while in pursuit of Folger. These were the strong points of the fingerprint testimony. There was one weak spot. Anticipating that the defense would try to make the most of those unidentified latents, 25 of the 50 found at the Tate residence, 6 of the 25 found at the LaBianca residence, I brought this out myself, but with several possible explanations. Since, as Dolan testified, no person has two matching fingerprints, it was possible the 25 unmatched Tate latents could have been made by as few as three persons, while the six at the LaBiancas could even have been made by one person. Moreover, I established through Dolan that latent fingerprints can have a long life. Under ideal conditions, those inside a residence may last for several months. I could afford to point this out since I'd already established that the two prints I was most concerned about, Krenwinkel's and Watson's, were on surfaces Winifred Chapman had recently watched. I expected Fitzgerald to hit hardest on that one weak spot. Instead, he attacked Dolan where he was least vulnerable, his expertise. Earlier, I brought out that Dolan had been in the latent print section of SID for seven years, while assigned there, conducting over 8,000 fingerprint investigations and comparing in excess of 500,000 latent fingerprints. Fitzgerald now asked Dolan, Correct me if my mathematics are incorrect, Sergeant, but you testified you went to the scene of 8,000 crimes. If you went to one a day and worked an average of 200 days a year, you would have been doing this for 40 years. Answer, I would have to figure that out on a piece of paper. Question, assuming that you went to one crime scene per day, is that a fair statement? that you went to one crime scene per day, Sergeant? Answer, no, sir. Question, how many crime scenes did you go to per day? Answer, anywhere for two or three years there between 15 and 20. Question, a day? Answer, yes, sir. Fitzgerald had been knocked on his rump. 